Today we're going to talk about SQL or SQL Basics. SQL stands for a Structured Query Language, which is used for querying databases. So if you're studying to become a data scientist or a data analyst, keep watching. For this particular exercise, we're going to be using the W3Schools website where we can actually work on an SQL database. So, for example, the first exercise is going to handle on the select statement. Insert the missing statement to get all the columns from the customer's table. Here, if you know the select statement, that's how all SQL queries start. You need to select some data from a specific table. So we do select. The star here means everything from customers. So select them from a part of the SQL syntax. Select something from a certain table. And our certain table is customers. So let's submit the answer. And that is correct. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Here is a little more complicated. They say, write a statement that will select the CT column from the customer's table. So as we learned in the previous statement, we need to do select. What do we need to select? The CT column. So you do it here. So you do here CT from the customer's table, from customers. You can see here it's very intuitive. SQL or SQL is a very intuitive language. So we selected the CT column from the customer's table. Let's submit our answer and we can see that is correct and we can move on. The third exercise says select all different values from the country column in the customer's table. Now, in this particular exercise, we will see a different part of the SQL syntax, and that is different values. We need to look at different things and not take all the data on that specific column. So when we talk about different values, we think about distinct values, and that is exactly the syntax we need to use for the SQL part. So we're going to do select distinct country from customers. So we're going to select the distinct country from customers. Basically, we're taking a look at all the unique countries from the customers table. Let's submit our answer and we are correct. Okay, so what did we learn from this part of the exercise? Well, the first thing is that when you do an SQL query, the first thing you need to do is do the select statement. So you're going to need to try to select something from a specific table. So the SQL syntax here is select, what do you need to select there? So you're going to name that from the table in cause. Another thing we have learned here is that we can also select unique values. So for example, we select distinct, in our case, cities from a specific table. So that is also part of the SQL syntax. Now let's move on and see when we can use where in our SQL syntax. We have a few exercises. So the first exercise here says select all records where CT column has value Berlin. So here we actually get a little bit more specific with it. So we have already the first part. So select everything from customers. Now, before we get into this, you need to make sure that you only use the star select star if you don't have a lot of data. If you have a lot of data, don't do this. Just do select top 10 elements and that will show you what you have in the table. Otherwise, you're just going to freeze your computer uh, or the database is going to freeze. So the exercise is select star from customers. And what do we want to do here where the CT column has the value Berlin? So we're going to use where CT equals Berlin. So what you can see here is that when you use the where statement, that actually makes it more specific. So we're selecting everything from a table from customers where the city only equals Berlin. And that actually narrows down your data. 
So let's submit our answer and that is correct. So let's move on to the second exercise. And here we have use the not keyword to select all records where city is not Berlin. So now we want to look at all the cities that are not Berlin. So as we can see here in the first part of the query, we already have that. So we need to select everything from customers. Now what do we do? We need to use the not key. And we do where not city equals Berlin. So we're now looking at cities that are not Berlin. Let's submit the answer and move on. All right. Here they say select all records where the customer ID column has the value 32. Here they give us again the first part of the query. So select everything from customers. And then we do where customer ID equals 32. It's the same process. We select from a table where, in this case, customer ID equals to 32. And that actually narrows down our data and maybe helps you answer a data analysis question. So let's submit our answer. And let's do one last exercise here. So the last exercise we're going to do with the where statement says select all records where the CT column has the value Berlin and the postal code column has the value 12209. So what we're going to do, this is a bit of a more complete query. So we're going to do select. As we learned in the beginning, we need to always start a query with select. So select everything from customers where CT equals Berlin and the postal code column has the value 12209. And we do and postal code equals 12209. So when you want to add more conditions on your where statement, what you're going to need to do is add the and statement. So you're going to do where CT equals Berlin and postal code equals 12209. Let's submit our answer and we are correct. Now let's move on onto the order by statements. The first exercise says select all records from the customer's table, sort the results alphabetically by the column city. Now they already gave us the first part of the query, which is select everything from customers, but now we need to sort the results alphabetically by the column city. And how do we do that? Well, we're gonna use order by. Order by city. Order by is another part of the SQL syntax. We're going to submit that and we are correct. Now let's move on to exercise number two, which says select all records from the customer's table, sort the result reversed alphabetically by the column city. Now we have select everything from customers, order by city, D E S C. And we use DESC here because we want to do it in descending order as they requested us. So order by, which is part of the SQL syntax, and DESC is also part of the SQL syntax. So let's submit that and let's move on to the last exercise. Here they say, select all records from the customer's table, sort the result alphabetically, first by the column country, then by the column CT. Now, since they only ask us to order the result alphabetically, we do not need to use DESC or ASC. What we're going to need to do is order by, and then we have country, and then CT. Country, comma, CT. And what we did here was to select everything from the table customers, and we ordered by country and then city. Let's submit and we can see we are correct. All right, so this was it for today. I really hope you understand more of how SQL works and how to use it on querying databases. Please let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't some people call it SQL? You're gonna be that guy? <laughs>